What would that cup be used for? What could somebody possibly need that cup for? The answer is coffee. She used my coffee cup for wine and didn't wipe it out. Guys, I, I'm not driving today. I, I can't. You know, I already had half a cup of wine. And I'm still whining about it. It's time for some... in Colorado but east of the Rockies so it's very flat and today we're gonna go over the Rockies into the mountains it should be a really beautiful drive and we're gonna go all the way to the west side of the state and that's where we'll be for a week there's a new day that will come again tomorrow Wash away the pain There's a new day To take away your sorrow And the old ways Get washed out by the rain All Right, so where we are headed is Grand Junction And that's actually one of the stops in our train video So check that out if you haven't it's kind of cool now to see everything from the road compared to when we were on the train and actually going through the mountains and whatnot. So a different perspective, but it's still just as lovely. So check out the video if you haven't. Alright, we made it. We are at James R. Cobb State Park. We are at James... Alright, we made it to James M. Robb Colorado River State Park. It's a tongue twister. So it is right off the highway, but it is right next to the Colorado River as described. And it is beautiful. So we got here. It's still pretty sunny, but the sun disappeared behind the mountains pretty quick. And we can't wait to see what sunrise looks like. So we just got here, got everything set up, got the tent off the roof, got the chairs off the roof, and the girls are outside. And let's check it out.
Good morning. It is Memorial Day in Grand Junction City. We aren't even in Grand Junction. I don't even know where we are. Uh, closest town to us is Palisade. And so last night we went to Palisade. Last night we went to Palisade Brewing Company. And um, it was good. It was packed, I guess, for Memorial Weekend. Um, it's pretty much standing room only, 45 minute to an hour wait on food. But we were starving and everything else closed at 8. And at this point it was 7.45, so we waited. Outside of that, came home, relaxed. Finally got a good night's sleep. Felt good to wake up and not have to get on the road again. So that's always a nice feeling, especially when you're doing this all the time. And here we are. Good morning. The vacuum cleaner needs to be charged. Yeah. It's nighttime at the campground. It's finally starting to cool off, so we're gonna start cooking and eat and relax. On tonight's menu, we have some basically protein, some beans, some cheese, and some tomatoes. And just coming back from the showers, ma'am, can we get can we get a review? How was it? Um, waters could be hotter. Wait, water could be hotter. Um, pressure was okay. Those are really on my only thoughts. I like hot waters. I mean, hot showers. Oh, I didn't realize Paige was out. Oh, wow, cat on the loose. So I think these showers were normally coin operated. Oh, so I think these showers were normally coin operated, but right now it's not, but you just have to push a button and then after a few minutes it turns off. So I took a pretty quick shower and I needed to push it three times. That's not important. Anyways, you can control the temperature, so it's just whatever that gave you. And during the heat of the day, I bet that temperature is very comfortable. At night when it's cool, not so much. But it's okay. Dinner is served. 
I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll show you here in a second, but Matt made a very nice dinner. We got a tortilla, which Matt didn't make, and then we got a, a mix of pinto beans and tomatoes and cheese. Easy and healthy. There he is. Can you hold this for me? Mm. Oh, wow. All right, it's Friday, so that means it is a travel day for us. And so we are leaving Colorado today and heading towards Utah. But instead of just telling you where we are going, we're going to let you guess. So see if you can figure it out on the way. We're going to drop some hints throughout the ride. Enjoy. Caught behind the nation blind. Try to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running least Looking for something Digging deep since 99 what I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all alone. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way. The first park we'll be visiting was actually a national monument first. In 1909, President Taft designated it Mukuntaweep National Monument. It is home to one of the greatest engineering feats of modern times, a 25-mile stretch of road built in 1930 that also contains a 1.1-mile-long tunnel that cuts through vertical sandstone cliffs. It also contains one of the most dangerous hikes and actually has a subway, although not for public transportation, and it contains the world's second largest arch. The other park we'll be visiting contains the most hoodoos, and here you can find Thor's Hammer. It is the smallest national park in Utah and contains at least a thousand plant species and 60 documented species of butterflies. So those are your hints. Take a guess. Where are we going? <laughs> 